everyone welcome to heel charm shine today we are going to see the second video of our finding love series so this is a a video which i was waiting for because i'm going to use my new deck in this i do use this deck in my personal readings but for the first time i'm going to use it over here so it's my angel deck which is absolutely beautiful it's it gives the best advices ever so the angel deck is going to tell us what the angel guidance is for your love life so that is the question that is the title today angel guidance for your love life this is the second video of our finding love series the first was will you find love so that was the first video today we are going to see angels guidance for your love life and tomorrow we are going to see the third video will be how to attract love that will be tomorrow so i hope you are enjoying the series you know how to pick your pile the pile one is about pile one has the sun card pile two has the moon card pile three has the guardian angel card we also have colors for you to, if you want to pick as per color we have green red blue we also have numbers for you if you want to pick as per number we have uh one two three and we also have the timeline in the description box also in the uh, pinned comment so if you want to pick as per the timeline so you can choose the same pile in the entire series or you can keep changing you can choose multiple piles pick whatever message comes resonates with you you don't have to take every message to your heart because every message is not meant for you it is a general reading whatever resonates with you that is only meant for you so i hope you enjoy the series thank you so much for being here i'll now start with the pile number 1 welcome pile number 1 today we are doing the second video of our finding love series the video is angels guidance for your love life so we are going to do a complete oracle guidance today so we are not doing tarot today only oracle guidance are we allowed can we do that yes we can we are a free spirit we are someone who enjoys the flexibility of tarot of the spiritual world of oracles of tarot of everything of our spirit guides so yes we can do that so today we are going to ask the oracles what we can do about our love life how we can attract love how we can find love what we can what we need to know about our love life so let's go for that let's find with this new deck first this is the angel prayers deck so in this it you can understand what kind of prayer you can say to help you in in your situation in your life so it can be related to your love life or even your uh, overall life anything it can be so whatever prayer comes up for you let's see we can note it down we can say it if it doesn't resonate with you you can ignore it you don't have to stick to the same pile every time in the whole series you can pick any pile you want so let's see this is a six video series yesterday we did will you find love and how that was yesterday's video the first video of the series today the second video is angel guidance so we are starting this new deck today i'm sorry this is what happens sometimes the cards they just want to jump let's see what angel guidance are coming for you pile number 1 oh trustworthy friends thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love so your angels are talking to you through friends your angels are communicating to you through friends but trustworthy friends not the friends who are uh, creating trouble in your life not the friends who are jealous of you not the friends who you do not trust the people you trust so these can be your relatives or this can be your friends so trustworthy friends so you this is a prayer for it thank you angels for surrounding me with the people i can trust and love so if you don't have friends who you can trust and love if you think that the people in your life are not your well wishers then this is the prayer which you can say but i don't i don't think that we all of us um, are like in that situation we do have some or the other one who is our well wisher so trustworthy friends so you are through your friends your angels are reaching out to you that was the first message and we can see this beautiful moon over here full moon we just had a full moon we celebrated it we enjoyed it so let's see what else is coming up even the yellow color is so prominent maybe yellow color and as you are the sun sign maybe the yellow color or the warm colors yellow orange red are lucky for you that is what i feel so let's see what else mustard color yellow color red orange all the warm colors might be lucky for you when you're looking for love when you're trying to reach out to love that was one suggestion which i heard now let's see what more messages comes for you 
ah don't hate meditate when we talk about love we can see this beautiful pink aura this beautiful pink glow and this angel over here meditating so that is one more message for pile number 1 don't hate meditate so don't waste your time your energy on trying to you know argue with someone who you don't agree with instead instead focus all your energy in words all your energy in meditation so your prayer is thank you angels for guiding me to love through meditation so this is the direct message for you this is what we want how can we find love you can find love through meditation you can connect to your love through meditation so this can be in 5d this can be in dreams this can be you're getting some kind of signs synchronicities you're getting some messages in the in movies in songs in books anywhere you can find some messages so through meditation you're going to connect to your love so that is the direct message a very nice message so you got two messages one you can get information downloads through friends trustworthy friends and the second one was meditation now the third is the miracle of prayers are in archangel sandal sandal phone how is it sandal phone I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I don't know this uh, how to pronounce this word. The miracles of prayer. So thank you, Sandal Fawn. <laughs> I hope I'm I'm so sorry, Angel. Please please make this right. Thank you, Sandal Fawn, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Yes, we do. We are saying our prayers, but are they reaching the right right ears? Are they reaching the right angel? Are they reaching the divine? So this is a prayer. This is something where you can say to help your prayers reach. where you wanted to reach so this is one more prayer which you can say all these prayers are going to help you manifest are going to help you connect with your love is is going to help you find love which is the series which is what we are trying to reach uh live live your joy thank you angels for supporting me as i follow my joy wow this is law of attraction 101 that when you follow your bliss when you follow your joy then the angels the universe the divine everyone tries to help you stay in that mood help you find more happiness help you find more blessings so the people who are always laughing always enjoying uh, have a se good sense of humor these people do attract easily the peop they are already in a high uh, vi they are vibing high they are into uh the high frequency higher frequency is compared to those people who are sad those people who are focusing on the negatives so something where you feel joy so it can be creativity it can be play it can be dance it can be sports it can be fun it can be playing with your pets it can be playing with kids it can be uh doing something which you enjoyed as a child so whatever gives you joy this is your message live uh, thank you angel for supporting me as i follow my joy so as you follow your joy your angels are going to support you two more messages and then we are going for another oracle deck yes that is what we are doing let's see what more messages comes for you what more prayers you can say these are the angel prayers these prayers will help you you can note down these prayers if anything calls out to you if you if you feel that this prayer suits me perfectly or this prayer will really help me so you can note that down and say it whenever you feel like saying it okay this one uh inner power the divine father so the divine masculine the divine father lord shiva over here is ta talking about your inner power this is also about your inner power the meditation going within a connection a deeper connection with your inner source with your inner power so the inner power the divine father you can pray to the divine father or lord shiva or uh, the divine masculine in this way divine father thank you for co-creating my world with me again law of attraction 101 you are co-creating the world with the with the divine with the universe that is what you are doing the lord shiva he uses his drum to create the world the snake over here reminds you to shed your past to let go your of your past don't hold on to your past we can see the sun over here we can see om over here which is again about meditation we can see the moon over here which is about subconscious mind we can see the third eye so yes that is what what act gets activated when you meditate so lord shiva or the divine father or the divine masculine is telling you that you can co-create with the universe with the with the divine so this is your prayer 
divine father thank you for co-creating my world with me beautiful now let's go ahead one more and then we'll go for the other oracles we'll go for the unicorn and other oracles we are not doing tarot today because today we are just asking the oracles that help us help us find love for the love of god when are we going to get our love <laughs> let's see shine your light archangel uriel thank you uriel for helping me to share my light with the world so your joy whatever your joy is whatever you enjoy doing maybe with your friends or maybe on your own is something where you spread light so we can see sun 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 and sun over here so a lot of sun a strong leo energy someone is a leo over here or someone is a fire sign over here as i said the fire colors orange yellow red all the warm colors are going to be lucky for you when you are trying to find love and even your root chakra your solar chakra is something which which needs activation which needs alignment how you can do it by meditating you got that message directly over here so archangel uriel is telling you to shine your light to shine like the sun to shine like a star thank you uriel for helping me share my light with the world if you need help in that this is the best prayer you can say when you're trying to uh, use your creativity when you're trying to share your knowledge when you're trying to be someone who will be known for their creativity and you're you're facing challenges facing obstacles in that archangel uriel is there to help you so this is your prayer archangel uriel for uh, thank you for helping me look at this every prayer starts with thank you didn't i say that every time every time i say that in every video that you don't need to you know learn complicated phases or learn complicated prayers or mantras or chants or anything the only prayer which matters to the divine to the world to the universe is thank you being in the grateful mode that is the only thing you need to say thank you that is how it works so thank you uriel for helping me to share my light with the world so that is your angel prayers now let's go for more oracles to get more information about how you can find love or what is happening in your love life we'll go with the unicorns first okay let's see what is happening with my pile number one what what is their advice what they should do with their with their love life what should they do about their love life how they can live a happy successful life how they can live a happy successful life okay rainbow there is rainbow beyond the clouds so whatever whoever is in a dark mode right now whoever is uh, in depression whoever feels that uh, nothing is working out for them whoever feels that everything is going against them and there is no hope in their life for them this message is there is rainbow beyond the clouds so don't worry if you might not be able you are not seeing any hope right now but that doesn't mean that it is not there that doesn't mean that this period is going to last forever no everything changes so it's going to change your rainbow will come there will be sunshine in your life for sure there will be happiness for your in your life for sure keep saying thank you to the universe be in the grateful mode be in the acceptance mode so there is rainbow beyond the clouds wonderful now let's see closeness your unicorn is very close to you so yes you might feel that you are not getting the help you want but the universe over here is telling you that no your unicorn unicorn is spirit guides unicorn is angels unicorn is ancestors so whatever magic you believe in that is the unicorn so your unicorn is very close to you so don't feel that you are not going to get any spiritual help you are getting the help from the divine dignity hold your head up high and know the unicorns are supporting you again the same message whoever is feeling low don't you don't have to because the unicorn the guides the spirit guides angels are helping you are supporting you so this whatever phase you are going through it's going to change everything changes nothing stays permanent change is the only constant nothing stays permanent so this is going to change your rainbows your sunshine will be there and a rainbow 
is also a message for you many people have this uh, sign when their true love is close to them that they start seeing rain rainbows all everywhere like uh, in stickers in movies in uh, on on bumper stickers on cars on anything uh, in toys anywhere you start seeing rainbows actual rainbow in the sky on some uh, logo in some mo movie on some window anywhere you can see rainbow rainbow start appearing in your life so that is a sign for someone and the other sign is butterflies seeing a lot of butterflies and seeing happy people joyful people seeing people who are really in a very happy state happy mode whenever you see someone actually enjoying their life being happy being like a child laughing enjoying having fun whenever you say that see that say thank you thank you universe for this happiness thank you universe for making me witness of this happiness thank you universe for what uh, for uh, you even you don't even have to know why that person is happy just say thank you that is how you will attract happiness that is how you will attract laughter in your life that is one thing which i learned and it really works it really really works so being staying in your joyful way is the best way to connect with your angels your angels love that energy your angels love people who laugh love people who are in a light mode so but uh, when i say uh, sense of humor it does not mean by insulting someone please don't do that that is negative that is not right when uh, a people gang up on someone and start insulting them on their legs or looks or on something and uh, they make fun of fun on expense of someone else that is not that is not that is not the right energy no that is not the sense of humor i'm talking about i'm talking about genuine sense of humor when everybody enjoys it not that you're hurting someone and everybody else is enjoying it no everyone should enjoy that everyone should laugh when you're making that joke that is what we are talking about i hope you understood what i want to say now let's go for more messages for my wonderful pile number 1 you are already blessed you already are seeing rainbows and sunshine uh, shalin master so be graceful in moments and action action came again for you in even over here we can see the action so something you have to move your body do something exercise run walk swim cycle do something which will make your body move which will bring some which will move, make the energies move that is going to help you that is one message now let's see we are going to go for the keepers of light also so we have warrior be fearless and stand strong be fearless and stand strong one of my clients who's also become a very close friend of mine now gets this card every time i ask about her future husband so she has determine this card as a future husband so i have always said that that and it always reminds me whenever this card comes i always say oh my god it's that guy it's her future husband and this message came every time for her and she is manifesting that exactly that and i'm sure she is going to be successful in that i'm pretty sure about it i'm going to make a manifestation video also law of attraction manifestation video how to manifest love or how to attract love that will be the video and the the warrior over here is telling you be fearless and stand strong so that is what you are you are supposed to do this and this is the same energy about being confident about being graceful about action about doing something not just hoping but actually doing something manifestation has action in it it is not only vision boards it is not only journaling it is taking action on what kind of intuitions what kind of messages what downloads are coming towards you so both these are very action oriented cards so be fearless don't 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 be afraid don't think that what if it doesn't work out don't think about other plans right now whatever is coming in your mind take action on it don't be negative about it if it doesn't work out you can then try to figure out what next but right now if you're getting a download if you're getting called to take some action you need to take that because that uh, that information that download is coming directly from the universe directly from the divine from the divine father from the universe from whoever you believe in from your angels dream and journey 
so yes this action can also be about journey now i do understand that journey is not possible right now it is very difficult but still there might be other ways of journey like going inwards so there is something where you are getting information where you are getting downloads in your dream where you are getting information about your love about your life about what action you need to take you might be getting those downloads in the dream or you might be getting called towards some journey so whenever it will be possible you can take that step so these were the messages from the angel and ancestors now let's go for the keepers of light to get more messages and then that that's it we are not doing tarot today only oracle messages why because we do whatever we want on this channel we are free spirited we do not follow set rules so let's see what the oracles have to say for my wonderful pile number 1 the sun pile rainbows was your um, rainbows uh, and um, butterflies and what else we saw happy people joyous people people in oh my god look at the sun again the sun has come again move into your true self rise above from dark darkness the light is here so much light is there in this in this pile so much light so move into your true self so who whoever is in the dark mode right now they need to move their body they need to get up they need to run they need to exercise they need to swim they need to do something go for a walk they need to shake their body to get out of the darkness to remove that darkness that is one message for someone who is really not into in the right mode if you have a dog go for, go for a long walk with your dog if you have a pet play with the pet if you have um if you have kids like nephews or cousins or neighbors kids play with them do something make that will channel their energy that will help you release the heaviness release the darkness release the negative energy and the movement will help you really it will help you clean your house do something move the energy clean your room clean your house clean your car do something which will change you so your outward action will change the energies within give it a try and let me know if it worked move into your true self rise above darkness the light is here so someone is really in the darkness and they are getting this message again and again that you do not have to stay there don't make the darkness your home that is not your home light is your home happiness is your home happiness is your purpose darkness is not your home so move into your true self your true self is all about light charity prayer and contemplation so this is also something which you can do so charity does not have to be money it can be um, helping someone with your skills it can be doing something for someone like i said help uh, play with kids so you can babysit for someone that will also be a kind of charity when you are babysitting for someone a cousin a sibling a neighbor you can do that so in that way you are also doing charity you are also helping out someone and plus you are getting a very positive energy from the kids in your life you are shaking that bad energy out and you are bringing in a positive energy when you see happy kids giggling and playing and having fun the kind of energy they emit the kind of energy which they show that will rub off on you that will help you get out of the darkness so charity can be anything it does not have to be giving someone mo someone money it can be helping out in an old age home it can be helping out someone with their pets with their kids it can be helping out uh, at the animal shelter it can be it can be going out and feeding stray stray animals it can be helping homeless people it can be helping your neighbor it can be helping your parents it can be anything it does not you don't have to tell them that i'm doing charity please that is not the way just helping out a friend will help you move that bad energy out of your life so that will also help you connect with the heaven ask and ask and you shall receive so this is again law of attraction 101 ask and you shall receive 
so when you ask for what you want you will receive that one more for the key from the keepers of life i hope you are enjoying this video i hope it is giving you some guidance meditation yes look again look at the sun over here again so much sunlight so much lightness there is no reason that you should be in a darkness now so increased awareness going within meditation will help you in this situation deep connection trust your inner voice so your inner voice is something which will help you find love which will help you connect with your best version which will help you bring that warrior out from in your in from inside you which will help you shine like the sun so increased awareness deep connection trust your inner voice so what guidance you got you got the guidance about prayer which we saw only saw initially that the six prayers which we saw with the angel prayers the second we saw was meditation the third is charity doing something helping out someone and even movement i even said about moving your body doing something physical movement will help you with your inner with your inner whatever pain whatever darkness whatever sadness is there it will help you shake it out you literally shake out that from your from your body you can shake that out and go with a positive attitude because that is how you will find love so i hope you enjoyed the the second video of the finding love series thank you so much for being here i'll see you in my next one welcome pile number 2 today we are doing the second video of a finding love series this is the video angel guidance for your love life yesterday we did will you find love so let's see what the angel guidance is for your love life it is a oracle reading it is not a tarot reading today can we do that yes we can we can do anything we want this is a free this is the channel for free spirits this is the channel for those who do not bound themselves with laws so let's see what the angels have to say these are angel prayers they will help you pray they will help you manifest they will help you find love and also uh, other things in your life other happiness in your life it is not only about love you have to also try to manifest everything together oh wow peace and harmony archangel raguel thank you raguel for surrounding my life with in a harmonious light wow look at the light over here look at the card over here i love how beautiful these cards are so yes peace and harmony so you need to be in the energy of peace in the energy of harmony so if you are getting into arguments with someone if you are always arguing or if you are always uh, surrounded with people who uh, do not match your energy or always get into some disagreements with others then you need to stop it right away and for your own sake for your own happiness for your love life accept peace and harmony being right is not important for you right now improving yourself right is not important for you right now being kind being harmonious being okay with it so if if someone is saying to you that the sun rises from the west say okay good to know and keep moving you don't have to prove your point you don't have to say something which will get into an argument whoever is saying something if it accept the way of peace actually not that someone is harming you and you're being peaceful no 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 that is not the message over here this is about unnecessary arguments this is about the energy where someone just you are just angry on someone and this the minute they say something you get into argument with them no if someone is harming you if someone is bullying you if someone is being uh, rude to you then you need to protect yourself for sure but distance yourself from that person and embrace the energy of peace and harmony so don't get into needless arguments but if you have to protect yourself if you have to defend yourself then yes please do that so that was the message for someone thank you ragail for surrounding my life in a harmonious light so this archangel can help you bring that peace and harmony in your life the peace and harmony is the best way to attract love love cannot survive in conflict love cannot survive when everything is messed up you need to be in a peaceful mode to attract love love is a very delicate energy 
spiritual gifts archangel raziel thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so you have some kind of gifts and talents it can be spiritual it can be creative it can be both so you are some you are trying to channel those gifts and gifts and talents and if you are getting trouble in that if you are not getting the kind of confidence or the kind of support you need for that you can pray to this archangel so thank you archangel um, raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so through your gifts and talents through your work through your creativity through whatever you will share to the world through the way you are spreading your light because both these cards are all about light over here the way you're spreading your light your knowledge your gifts your talents that is how you're going to connect with your love maybe your love is also doing the same they your love is also spreading their talent their gifts their creativity so that is how you're connecting with the with your love these were two prayers and see notice that in this entire deck every prayer starts with a thank you and that is all you need to remember you don't have to remember complicated mantras complicated chants anything the only thing which is important in a prayer is being grateful the energy of being grateful the feeling of being grateful the feeling of being thank of being in a thankful mode in a grateful mode so that is what matters wow synchronicity thank you angels i trust your well timed guidance and signs so whoever is in the panic mode right now that when will it happen when is it going to happen why it's not happening for them this message is that you might be seeing a lot of synchronicities you might be getting a lot of downloads lot of guidance that you're pushing it away you're pushing your magic away you're pushing your blessings away by worrying by saying that when will it happen when will it happen by losing faith by losing hope so for them this prayer is thank you angels i trust your well timed guidance and signs so i trust your signs so whenever you see a synchronicity whenever you see repeating numbers whenever you see maybe the sinian symbol whenever you see something you should say that to the angels or say to the universe the thank you angels thank you universe thank you divine whoever you believe in for the well timed guidance and signs i trust you and i believe that whatever will happen will be, will be the best and you are not in the and make that assurance that you are not in that panic mode when it is going to happen it's never going to happen when will it happen oh my god for so many years i'm trying to manifest this whatever this energy it has to stop right now that is the message for someone such beautiful cards i love these cards This is the first time I'm using them on YouTube. I've always used them for my personal readings. Let's see what more messages comes for you. The divine physician Archangel Raphael. So the Raphael is known for his phys physician or the medicine uh, ability is known as the divine physician is the known as the divine doctor. So maybe someone does need some medical help also or if or maybe this is your message. not about medical help but about your mental uh, or spiritual health or your emotional health more than mental i mean emotional and spiritual health not not the mental or physical health so in any ways archangel raphael is here to help you and your prayer is thank you raphael for shining your divine light upon my healthy body this prayer can be for everyone also everybody everybody needs a healthy body um, a healthy mind lives in a healthy body so for that you can say the prayer is thank you raphael for shining your divine light upon my healthy body this is a way you can manifest healthy body a healthy life so that was one more prayer for you let's see what more prayers are coming for you you can choose any other pile as well because we have prayers and suggestions in every pile so it's not bad in getting additional guidance you don't have to stick to the same pile it's not bad in finding additional guidance for you and you can note down any prayer which uh, is connecting with you right now because maybe that is what you need to say every morning every day whenever you feel like you need that help you can use it in your journaling manifesting miracles yes when you're manifesting archangel orion so this is about your manifestation this is about your miracles what you are doing thank you orion for manifesting your miracles in my world so you can say this when you are doing your manifestation rituals when you are trying to manifest 
the love of your life now one more and then we are going for other oracle cards we are not doing tarot today we are only going for oracle guidance today ah when we are talking about manifestation i did say journaling and see look over your journaling count your blessing gratitude so this this is something which will help those who are worried when will it happen why it's not happening for them this message is and for everybody else also but especially for them count your blessing so make a gratitude list you can do this every morning you can do this at night you can do it whenever you want but this is a very nice way to get into the thankful mode get into the gratitude mode so start writing your blessings thank you universe and angels for the blessings in my life and you can end that list with this thank you universe and angels for the blessings in my life so make your gratitude list do do this in journaling form or in the list list form as well you can do it as you want a gratitude list will help you uh, get into the grateful mode which is the most essential mode to connect with the divine to connect with the universe your words the language we speak the spoken words do not connect with the divine do not connect with the universe the universe the divine is energy it is not human it is energy for them you have to speak through feelings speak through energy speak through vibes and when you get into a grateful mode in a thankful mode your vibes your energies can connect to the divine so this is the best way to get in that mode a gratitude list or journaling about your blessing saying thank you for your blessings so if you don't know what blessings you have in your life look around look in your room see what you have in your life you have a roof on your head you have a bed you have a table whatever you have start writing it can be as minor as anything that thank you for this cup of coffee thank you for this cup of tea start with any minor thing and you can go it as you can make it as big as possible whatever it is because saying thank you for everything is the way to connect with the divine that is what i learned in my in my experience in my life experience and that is what i'm trying to share here as well so as i always say thank you is the best way to best way to pray best way to meditate best way to connect with the universe so let's go for the uh, unicorn also unicorn are the spirit guides over here let's see what they have to say in addition to these prayers to these messages you can see all the piles because this video is really special we do have a lot of angel guidance over here so any guidance can help you you don't have to stick to only one pile if in every pile we are getting a lot of guidance so why not take advantage of it there is no rule no law that you have to stick only to one pile this is a channel of free spirit people and we will do whatever we want to do whatever comes as a guidance to us so let's see mystery explore the unknown the unexpected awaits for you so there is someone getting a calling to do something unknown to do something new to be to get into that full mode you know taking a leap of faith trusting the universe going you know, trying something new so this can be a new job this can be relocating somewhere this can be starting something in the creative field this can be spreading your light this can be channeling your gifts your talents so you are getting this message to start something new to explore your talent to do to go explore the unknown and maybe you are scared of it maybe because uh, the unknown is something which you are really fearful about and you are getting this guidance that you don't have to the spirit guides are guiding you the universe is guiding you give it a chance give it a try don't be afraid of mystery because maybe that is how you will connect with your love of life flight yes i did say that someone is getting a call to relocate maybe let your creative imagination fly so this is also the same message channel your gifts and talents so that might be creative gifts so let your creative imagination fly so don't bound your imagination don't feel that you are not good enough or it will never work or this is too uh, weird or too bold or people will not like it no L the creativity should not be bounded by any laws anything that is logic that is not creativity 
so there should be no boundation on what you are trying to do let your creative imagination fly because maybe through that you will find your love someone really creative in this pile manifestation this has come in twice for you so someone is doing all the manifestation work and i'm proud of you very good manifestation focus on vision beyond yourself and your unicorn will help you so your spirit guides the angels the divine is looking at your efforts maybe you have made you made a vision board maybe there is a vision board on your wall maybe this is in a, in the digital form on your laptop on your on your phone so the unicorns the spirit guides are looking at your efforts and they are going to help you so focus on the vision so focus on that vision which you are creating if you have not made a vision board this is your calling to do it this is your sign to do it focus on a vision beyond yourself and your unicorn will help you it's very easy to make a vision board you, you don't have to make anything complicated just put uh, put just collect pictures of whatever you want in your life it can also be one simple picture one picture will also do you don't have need a lot of pictures even one picture but uh, you think that it has everything you want you can also have that as well so these were the messages from the unicorns now let go for the angels and ancestors and then we'll go for the keepers of light yes it's all about oracles today we don't limit our creativity we let it fly we indulge and celebrate our creativity shaman trust the higher forces so yes explore the unknown don't be afraid of the unknown trust that something good something better something which will open up a lot of doors for you so trust the higher forces trust that the universe wants you to become your creative one to explore your creative talent and you don't have to leave your day job or leave your studies for it you can do it side by side many people do that they stay on their uh, with their old job they stay with their studies they do something on the side and later on when that creative thing takes up when they start making more money then they quit their job so that is the safest way to explore your creative talent and never feel rushed about it that i want that success now that is never going to happen you have to be patient about it be the light so white witch so yes be the light create your magic become the manifestor become the magician be the light your wise you're working on yourself you're transforming we got two owls over here so yes you are the wise one you are smart you are becoming spiritually aware you are awakening we can see a big transformation over there and we can see a pentacle also over there so yes you are working on yourself you are working on your on your career you are working on your studies yes you are doing what you are supposed to do wow high priest intend and create another law of attraction card so and we can see one more bird over here so you are your wings are coming so you are going to get a chance to soar you are going to get a chance to live the life of your dreams you can manifest anything you want intend and create you are in the high priest mode the high priest mode is the mode like the hierophant which is spiritually wise which is maybe book smart maybe educational smart religious smart so this person has the knowledge the ability the skills to create anything they want they just have to intend it intention is what will help you create your life intend and create find your love as this is the love video so it can be it will help you find the your dream love or find the love of your life now let's see the keepers of the light what the keepers of the light have to say and I, again i'm saying you can watch all the piles because we are getting beautiful messages in it and anything might help you karma releasing move beyond drama in the first card itself we saw that you don't have to waste your energies on proving yourself right to someone 
move move beyond drama drama is not something which is going helping you right now so release that karma releasing create your own path make room for good energy making room for good energy is also a way where you manifest so make room for the love to come in your life so make some space for your love in your in your life in your house in your in your environment even if they don't physically move in with you this is the way you tell universe that i'm ready for someone new i'm ready for someone in my life so create your own path by manifestation by being in the grateful mode by trusting the universe by sharing your light by being the light by studying by preparing by intent by making your intention strong by making your intention clear that what exactly you want let's see what the what more the keeper of the lights have to say god ah lady venus yes you can write to lady venus as well so after your gratitude list you can write to lady venus also a love letter a letter to lady venus thanking her for helping you find the love of your life make it as sweet as romantic as beautiful as possible if you can add poetry in it add poetry in it if you can add some nice quote in it add some nice quote in it lady venus is all about beauty grace love romance when you're writing to lady venus write it at at evening don't write it in daytime when the environment is beautiful when there when everything is pleasant when nobody is rushing when nobody is hurrying uh, so write it then have a nice beautiful scented candle burning near you have flowers in the room make it as pleasant as possible this is a beautiful goddess who loves all this it's the it's a easier to connect with her when i write to lady venus i even keep a nice small glass of rose essence or rose syrup or something with rose in it rose flavor in it as a drink i uh, as offering for her i even keep that when i'm writing as a offering for her a small a small glass a short glass not a big glass a small offering for her because i do know that she loves the rose flavor the rose syrup she's all about beauty she's all about grace she's all about femininity she is the venus after all so you can write to her also and your downloads and understanding trust is being revealed trust you got again trust 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 is being revealed trust is being truth is sorry truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm one more card for you faith so have faith whoever is saying that it's too much now when will it come for them it is have faith stay calm this is your direct message stay calm trust the good trust came again here it was truth but i saw it as trust and now here is trust trust the good in yourself and others see the light in the world so that is your message have faith so these were the guidance from the angels for you to help you find love to help you connect with your love i hope you enjoy the reading i hope you are enjoying the series and you can watch all the all the piles in in today's video because there are wonderful messages in every one and they are short videos they are they are short piles they are not long long messages so thank you again i'll see you in my next one welcome pile number 3 today we are doing the second video of a finding love series today's video is angel guidance for your love life so what we are going to do is we are going to go through oracle cards oracle decks and we are going to find the angel guidance the guidance for your love life what the oracle guidance is especially the angel guidance we have a angel prayers deck which i have not yet used in my uh, youtube videos so i am going to use that today i have used it in my uh, personal readings but first time i'm using for my youtube videos you already have the guardian angel card Uh, and you can choose you can see all the piles today because these piles have beautiful messages they have beautiful prayers they have uh, a lot of angel guidance in it so any pile every message any pile can help you in your situation so why um, lose that information Just take advantage of that 
try to watch all the piles today that is what i'll say it's not long piles you can watch you can find something in uh, some pile or maybe you will find the find this message mo most accurate but give it a try that is what my advice is today and uh, we are not doing tarot today are we allowed yes we are we can do anything we want we are a channel of free spirit people and tarot is not something which we are doing today we are only doing oracle today because we unleash our creativity without any restriction without any boundaries without any laws we do what we are we get called to what we get guided towards that is what we do this pile did this card did come up in last pile as well in pile number two archangel raziel and as i said your spiritual gifts and your creative gifts this is only spiritual but i do believe that it is also creative gifts so spiritual gifts and uh, creative gifts are something which you need to share with the world and for that this archangel will help you so archangel raziel's prayer is thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so whatever your gifts and talents are whatever you can spread whatever you will can share bring joy to the world can bring light to the world is something which will help you connect with your love so it can be spiritual gifts it can be creative gifts it can be both so that is how you will find your love that is how you will connect with your love that is your first message thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents that is a prayer every prayer in this deck starts with a thank you and that is how i keep saying in almost all my videos that your prayer is only thank you that is good enough you don't have to memorize complicated chants and mantras uh, for to pray to some to pray some divine to pray to some to the universe or to angels no only thank you is good enough because just what you resonate just what kind of frequency you are sending out the kind of vibes you are sending out the energy you have that is what matters your words don't matter so just saying thank you even if you don't say it all out loud even just having that in your heart that is good enough to connect with the universe so thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talent is your first prayer the first way you can connect with the love of your life by sharing your gifts and your talents by expressing by being creative by being bold about your creativity let's see what more messages are coming in focus your mind thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities yes somebody scattered somebody not sure what they need to do somebody not sure what they need to handle somebody trying to multitask and uh, not being able to do it in a nice way is struggling over there and they need to focus their mind so when you focus your energies on something creative your mind gets a lot of satisfaction a lot of happiness it can calm down it can uh, remove worry anxiety stress from your life and that will help you focus on what you need to work where you need to send your energies what what is the priority prioritizing timetable scheduling that is how will help you in all aspects of your life especially connecting with your love so thank you angels for helping me to focus my priorities prioritize prioritize what is important for you sit with a pen on pen and paper and start making uh, a list of what is important for you where you need to spend your time make a timetable and follow it this is going to help you you become more creative this is going to help you become more successful in all aspects of your life and especially to connect with the love of your life this came in pile number 1 so and also this one so yes you should check all the piles i've i've told other piles also to check see all the piles because why lose this information why lose this guidance take advantage of everything whatever is connecting thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love so there are people in your life who are trustworthy who you can take help from the people who are your well wishers so you can maybe your angels are trying to connect to you through them so this is your prayer thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love and one more shine your light archangel uriel so it's the same way share your gifts shine your lights thank you uriel for helping me to share my light with the world so your gifts your spiritual gifts your creative gifts are going to spread light are going to spread love in the world that is their purpose so you can pray to this archangel raziel or archangel uriel or both of them to help you share your world we can see suns over here 1 2 3 4 sun we can see sun over here we can see sun over here 
so yeah and we can also see the moon over here so sun is something which is which is uh, bringing uh, giving you a lot of energy as i said in pile number 1 the colors of sun red orange yellow is something which will help you feel lucky which will help you connect with the with, with your love which will help you bring success in your life the symbol of sun so wherever you see sun like in cartoons and symbol and stickers and pictures um wherever you see this beautiful fire sun this kind of image where you know brightness light shine something which is glowing that is the way you will know that your angels are nearby or your love is near your life so that is your symbol that is what i see and i can also see a lot of feathers over here a lot of wings over here because this is the angel cards after all and feathers is your symbol we can see the sun we can see third eye and we can see the moon we can see the sun we can see third eye and we can see the moon so all your symbols are showing up over here so you might will get a lot of symbols a lot of signs when your when your love is near you these are your prayers every prayers does start with thank you you can see the other piles also to get additional prayers to get additional advantage to get more help to find your love i hope you are enjoying the finding your love series as well clear your vibes this is how you clear your vibes by focusing on what is important and by removing what is not so that is how you clear your vibes so archangel metatron is about uh, jo- this is about the divine geometry the archangel metatron tries to help everything come in alignment tries to help you bring structure in your life so thank you metatron for clearing my energy field so both these both these messages are similar we can see divine structures over here we can see uh, divine geometry over here so what this both these cards are telling you that you need to release whatever does not belong in your life and focus all your attention all your energies on what does and prioritize prioritize so that you do not waste your energy on what is not important take help from your friends maybe in this situation maybe a friend is someone who is very good at in scheduling very good in time management you can take help from them so clear your vibes focus your mind both these are important messages for you let's see what more guidance comes for my pile number 3 transformation so a big transformation happening for pile number 3 when you focus your energies at the right place in the right situation at the right things then you transform you transform into someone better someone big someone who is who can get closer to their love of their life so a transformation is important in your life it is going to happen in your life thank you zkl for supporting me transform from my past challenges so the past is your challenge so the past which is holding you back those things where you're sending your energies but it is not important it should not be a part of your life you need to release that focus your mind on what is important on your future clear your past so this is also the same message thank you zkl for supporting me to transform from my past challenges a big transformation archangel zkl is also here to help you so these are the prayers which you can do uh, which you can say to the angels to help you release your past focus your mind connect with your spiritual side with your creative side and shine your light and even your friends can help you maybe your angels are trying to communicate through your friends so you may must might be getting some messages from your friends as well now let's see the uh, unicorn cards what they have to say what messages they have for you these are the spirit guides we saw the archangels and the angels now we are going to see the spirit guides then we are going to go for angel and ancestors and keepers of lights all oracles today aspiration you are unlimited so aim for the stars yes shine your light aim for the stars do not limit yourself by focusing on the past your past whatever disadvantages were is in the past you don't have to bring it in the future by staying with it by holding on to it so you are unlimited so aim for the stars aim for the stars think big do not uh, if you are f- scared about your sharing your gift if you are if you have stage fright if you don't know 
what if what you should do when you when you have to share your gift you can pray to archangel rasael or you can pray to archangel uriel you are unlimited so aim for the stars choices there is another way ask your unicorn to help you find it yes your unicorn your spirit guide your angel will help you make your choice because you have a lot of choices over here many things you are working on many priorities for you which is not being useful you are juggling a lot of things which is not a good way to handle your situation so ask angel ask angels ask your guides ask your unicorns to help you find what is important what is what what needs your to be your priority birth be re receptive to a new idea child or situation so maybe there is going to be birth in your family maybe your siblings your cousins someone is giving birth someone is there is going to be a new child or maybe this can also be a pet someone is going to have a pet in their in the family so there is going to be new life in the in your in your family or this is a new idea which is coming in your mind or this is your creative field taking uh, taking wings coming into reality we do have that way of talking right when a, a, a author writes a book he calls that book his baby when someone writes something they call it or when someone works on their creativity they call it their baby so maybe the your creative work is your baby or there is an actual baby or a, or a pet entering your life or your family or this is about some new idea which is happening in your life so a new opportunity a new idea something new a fresh energy is entering in your life and it is going to bring good luck for you whatever this is it's going to bring good luck for you be it your creative project be it an actual child in your family be it a pet it is going to bring luck in your life luck for the family luck in your life it is a nice new new energy so let's see what the angels and ancestors have to say and then we'll go for the keepers of the light oracle so all oracles today do check out all the piles because there are beautiful messages and you did get cards from the first and the second pile also so peacekeeper let go of the need to be right so if you are into argumentative mode that is wasting your energy that is not the good way to deal with the universe right now to deal with the angels right now so be the peacekeeper let go of your need to be right you don't have to prove your point it is like you don't have to prove that you are right to anybody if you are in arguing just uh, release that mode just walk away from arguments that is just wasting energy set your sights higher this message came twice for you think big sets your sights higher so you are someone who is going to achieve something big so yes set your sights higher aim for the stars we did get that message so set your sights higher and you might be a star seed as well so you might have star ancestors who are also helping you wait for important information okay so you can get in, in, in information before trying to do something so you should channel all your energies to find important information from your star star ancestors from your ancestors from your angels from your spirit guides from your unicorn whoever you believe in wait to till you get some downloads pray to the angels so that it will happen soon you will get that download soon so that is one message wait for important information or someone is waiting for some information like a feedback from someone like maybe you have submitted your manuscript and you're waiting for the uh, waiting for that information or waiting for that uh, approval or whatever the answer from someone so some information you're waiting for maybe someone has given the interview and now they're waiting for the feedback sanand kumar light activation shine your light your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear so shine your light your guidance is coming through out loud and clear you got so much light cards shine your light shine your light two separate decks same message thank you uriel for helping me share my light with the world this is a prayer and this is sanand kumar telling you your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear so that inf information can come from within higher learning you are have learned from experience more inner studies now required for further process so maybe that is what you need to do you need to sharpen your skills before you spreading your 
uh, light through creativity maybe you need to learn something practice something sharpen your skills and then get involved into that creative field maybe that is what is needed higher studies higher learning is needed sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts oh my god again this message express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythm of your life so your gifts is something which will help you connect with your love through your creativity through your work through your talent through your gifts that is how you're connecting with the you with your love that is the way you will meet your love maybe your love is also in the same field also has the same gifts also has the same talent and white feathers so many white feathers so feathers is maybe your symbol feather and light feather and light a brilliant light beautiful light a light which feels nice a light feels which feels good which feels nice to see stars these all can be your symbol your signs that your love is close your love is near so this was your messages i hope you enjoyed the reading do check out other piles as well they are not uh, large videos they are small piles so they are not they will not take much time but you might get some information in it so check it out this is how uh, the angels are guiding you the universe is guiding you to work for your love life thank you so much for being here i hope you are enjoying the series i'll see you in my next one